Hi viewers, this is Minaj Chandra Mansito. Welcome to my channel. You are watching Ganesh Tutorial Mas. Uh, are you all ready to learn? Let me start the class. Uh, in this video, I am going to solve the problem. Uh, exercise number 4.2, fourth problem, chapter number 4, 10th standard NCERT Max. Actually, what we given in this problem? The problem here. Find two consecutive positive integers sum of whose square is 365 actually find the find two consecutive positive integers so consecutive it means next next number for example 5 next number 6 for example 7 next number 8 so these are the consecutive numbers clear consecutive positive integer is only the positive numbers right then sum of whose square is 365 so sum of whose square Listen, we can take, we don't know the first number. So in this consecutive number, first number we don't know it. We can take this a first number as a x. So what is the second number? Should be, 1 should be increased to 1. So x plus 1. So second number, x plus 1. Clear? So we find the two numbers, x and x plus 1 are the consecutive positive integers. Sum of whose square? Sum of whose square? So we can square the numbers, then the sum of the squares. That is x squared plus x plus on the whole square which is equal to 365 clear so x square plus x plus 1 the whole squared equal to 365 are you all clear so now we can solve the problem let we can take let x be a first number let first number be x then second number we know that what it is then we should write then second number x plus 1 clear so it's a positive integers clear next year according to the problem according to the according to the problem what they said uh, sum of the square of the numbers right so sum of whose square is 365 sum of whose square is 365 so first we can find the square of x x square is x square plus sum of the square x plus 1 the whole square which is equal to 365 are you all clear they said sum of the square of the integers sum of the square of the integer that is x square plus x plus 1 the whole square clear any term so now we can simplify this x squared plus now x plus 1 the whole square so you can you, you can expand it from the a plus b the whole square identity right that is a square plus 2ab plus b square so here in this a here x so x square plus 2 into x into 1 that is 2x plus b square 1 1 square that is 1 is equal to 365 clear any doubt so next step x square plus x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 365 next step x square into x square became a 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365 clear clear any doubt so next step we should bring this 2, 3, 65 to right left hand side. So 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus uh, plus 365 will come this side became a minus 365 equal to 0. So next step 2x squared plus 2x. Next step 1 minus. So larger number is minus. So minus 364 equal to 0. So now it is in a standard form. So we can write a value to b value to c value minus 364. Okay. Now we can find the factors that is a into c. So a into c here 2 into minus 364. Right. So 2 fours are 8, 2 six are 12 remaining 1, 2 threes are 6, 6 plus 1 7. So minus minus 7 28 then b value 2 
clear so sum of a two number it became a two and multiplication of a two number it became a minus 728 so we should find the numbers we just think over the numbers which are the two numbers so that is 26 and 28 clear here it is a plus 2 so when we subtract this two we can get a 2 but the answer here multiplication is minus so we can take any one number as a minus so minus 26 into plus 28 it became a minus 722 minus 26 plus 28 subtraction plus 2 clear any doubt so next we can divide this by coefficient of x square that is 2 clear clear don't forget to divide the coefficient of x square then cancel it we can get the answer here 1 to 2 2 1 to 2 3 to 3 so 13 minus 13 comma 1 to 2 1 to 2 so here 1 4 clear 14 so that is x minus 13 here x plus 14 clear any doubt so now we can write 2x squared plus 2x minus 364 equal to zero. Zero. So the factors are here x minus 13, x plus 14 equal to zero. Then x minus 13 equal to zero, or x plus 14 equal to zero. Then x is equal to plus 13. Here x is equal to minus 14. Clear. So in the problem they given uh, there is a two positive integer. So never x be a negative. They said it is a positive, so it is not a negative. So x is equal to thirteen. It is a first number. Then second number x plus one. So x plus one thirteen plus one that is fourteen. Clear. So the two numbers are thirteen and fourteen. Are you all clear? Any doubt? I hope in this video you make clear about the problem. Thank you for watching my video. If it is any doubt, you can ask me in a comment. Thank. You.